guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. Today you join me with this C63 AMG. It's owned by Sandra, who I'll introduce you to very shortly. But this thing, straight off the bat, is running quite a bit of power. I think over 600 brake horsepower, along with some other modifications, which we'll run through very shortly. But before we do that, and before I introduce you to Sandra, then uh, let me just briefly tell you about the sponsor for today's video. So once again, I've teamed up with the guys over at Noble Chairs. Noble Chairs are a German company who make these stunning looking gaming chairs and office chairs. The one which I personally have and the one which I use every single day is the AMG Patronus Edition, which was made in partnership with MB Motorsport themselves. To learn more about Noble Chairs and to go pick one up for yourself, click the link down in the description of this video and follow the instructions on screen now. A big thanks once again goes to Noble Chairs for sponsoring today video and with that said let's check out this awesome C63. Here we are then, C63 back on the channel. Now it's been a while since I've had one of these. I think the last one was my friend Ben's, who was also running around 600 brake as well. So just to give you a little bit of info before we crack on, now this is of course the Bi-Turbo V8. We've said goodbye to the naturally aspirated V8, which was in the previous generation. You're looking at about 470 brake, although this of course is not running that anymore, significantly more and around four seconds to 60. But anyway, now we've got that out of the way, let's introduce Sandra. Hello. Hi. Welcome Welcome to the channel. Thank, thank you for you. thank you for coming along. So, um, let's let's get stuck in straight away. This is not a wrap, is it? No, nope. it's, it's paint. Not. I get asked that all the time, but no, it's standard paint. Yeah, which yeah. is pretty special, actually. I, yeah. I imagine most of them that are looking like that are wraps. Um, yeah. yeah. So that's that's probably it from from factory at least. That will be a pretty hefty um, yeah. optional extra. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, as for the tune, it's literally just a, a stage one, isn't it? Yeah, so it's been mapped by MSR Performance up in Birmingham direction. Yep. Um, so yeah, it's just stage one, pushing 624 horsepower. Which is pretty um, good. I think it's probably a little bit more than that, because like I said to you before, it was done on a hot day, so I think yeah. it could potentially be a bit more. Um, but yeah, it's been uh, mapped by them, so it's quite a bit of a beast. Now. Yeah, no, it is, and as well as that, as well, we've done some stuff. Well, we, I say, you have done some stuff <laughs> to the exhaust as well. Yeah, so it's done by PCW Exhaust Mods. Um, so he did the second decat delete yeah. and also um, a back box and resonator mods. Um, cool. So just tweaked it and did whatever he had to do to it. Yeah. So it's basically. That was done first. Yeah. Okay. Then took a thermocell, had the map put on. So it's a custom map, so I wanted to pop some bangs. Yeah. So now it does a lot of that. Nice. So, yeah. Because they pop and bang a little bit from factory, don't they? But, they do. but not as well, not as much as it does now, at least. Yeah. <laughs> no, definitely. Uh, standard wheels as well. You had a few bits wrapped as well. See the roof. Yeah. And some bits on the back as well. Yeah. The um, spoiler's been wrapped. The black mm. badge has been done. The yeah. lights have been slightly tinted. And Sweet. then round the front, the um, grill. Oh, the grill, done. yeah. Yeah, and that was done by Ad Signs. Okay. In four marks. Cool. These, um, Other than that, it's. Up. I say it's fairly standard. It's not, but it is kind of a bit of a sleeper in that sense. Yeah, especially with uh, me being a girl as well. <laughs> look at me and think, ah, oh, typical girl can't drive. And yeah, then, yeah, no, it's uh, it's a bit of a beast to be fair. 624 brake is no slouch at all. Now you were just saying it's literally just an ECU tune. You don't really need any hardware for a stage one no um, just software so it's just all, all, all standard yeah. so that's yeah. fairly easy to do with pretty massive power gains as well standard wheels and everything but i, I quite like these wheels you know satin yeah. black or matte black with the, the silver ring around them have you got any other plans for it uh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> um i want it stage two okay so yeah whether that will happen anytime soon, I'm not 100% sure yet, yeah. but yeah, I'm hoping stage two. And I'm thinking of getting the operated grill as well. Oh, the Paramericana, like, yeah, yeah the, that would be, be really grills. cool. But um, apart from that, maybe spacers. Yeah. Get it looking a bit more fat at the back. Yeah, that's true. But Although, yeah, it, it sits pretty well. That's on standard springs as well. Yeah, completely. On, on yeah, that sits really well. Yeah. It's not been touched. But um, stage two, that'll be, what, 700 break? Probably, yeah. Probably. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when I mentioned it to MSI, he said, you need bigger turbos. And I said, oh, how yeah. much is that then? And he was like, yeah, thousands. So yeah. I thought, oh, maybe not. Yeah. Not just yet. But no, that's what I'm... I would ideally like it to be 700 plus, and yeah. then I'd be happy. 
But yeah. I can't complain with 624. No, not so at all. Not at all. Anyway, do you want to start it up so we can hear the yeah, exhaust quickly? Cool. These things sound amazing standard, let alone um, with a little bit done to the exhaust. Sweet. Anyway, we'll let it warm up a bit and then uh, we'll go out for a drive. as well so I've never actually experienced a stock one before. <laughs> did you buy this stock? Yes. Like, you did, yeah. yeah. That's the way to do it. Yep. I don't think I'd ever buy a car that was modified already and yeah. like the standards so I could do what I want to it. Yeah, make it your own. See the progression I guess. Yeah, exactly. So you say you did the exhaust first. Yeah. Um, that I can imagine, well I can tell it's made a big difference. <laughs> yeah. And the pops and bangs as well. So it's, is it on top of the standard? To be fair, when it was standard, it didn't really do an awful lot. Mm. It was just the odd, like if you sort of put your foot down, yeah. it'll do a bit of a fart. Yeah, you know? okay, yeah. But that was it, really didn't have, a, it was loud anyway, but it wasn't just as poppy and banky. And then when yeah. um, ECW did his bits and bobs, it was just more, but yeah. um, again, not massively. And then it was when the mat got put on. Makes you smile, doesn't it? Yeah. Awesome. noise. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping this is coming out on a GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. That sounds mad. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to put an ex uh, a GoPro back there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just listening to it. Yeah. Absolute sympathy. So how does this compare to the M4? Uh, that old question. <laughs> um, if I had the choice, I'd have this every day of the week. But mm. that's just because I love the V8 and I've always wanted an AMG. Yeah. So buying one is like a, not, I wouldn't say a dream come true, but it's just what I've always wanted. So it's a big yeah. achievement for me. Mm. Um, but the M4 looks absolutely gorgeous and it, you know it's so photogenic and it's yeah. an amazing colour I love it mm. um, Charlie has the San Marino blue yeah. but I just think the noise of the V8 you just can't beat it and mm. like you know you put your foot down or just like blip it when it's idle and the whole car shakes it has <laughs> really? so much character as well yeah. um, they're both pretty awesome cars to be fair they're, yeah they're, they're brilliant in their own right yeah. I mean we have this argument all the time so obviously the my car handles better but <laughs> it probably that, doesn't that's amazing um, just like battling it out for the yeah. better car and this has got more power than charlie's but his is more planted yeah. like this car if you're not concentrating on watching what you're doing it will mm. try and kill you yeah um whereas in, in his car it feels a bit more safe more assist um, yeah. yeah yeah whereas this is just like blink and if you're not careful it'll throw yeah. you off the road. <laughs> That's all part of the fun. Which is what I love. People think you're crazy but yeah. I'm like, yeah, I don't ever push it to the limit where I don't know what I'm doing or I can't, you know, correct it if it That's sort of steps out a little bit. Mm. Um, it's all down to the tyres really. Yeah. But, but it's mad how how much of a difference. I mean I'm considering changing the tires on my car. What have you got? Um, they're just they're Michelin's to be fair. Oh, okay. Um but they're the standard tires anyway, so well, these when I bought it had Conti's on it, I think it was, oh, yeah. um, and it was just shocking in the wet. Yeah. It's still the same on the front, I haven't changed them, mm. but I put PS4s on these um, on the back only a couple of months ago, and the difference you can tell straight away. Yeah, I mean, in the so wet, it's still a bit of a snake, yeah. but um, nowhere near as bad as, no. I mean, it's, the roads are wet now, it's yeah. down it all. So, 
Yeah, the, the light was flashing, it's telling me. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want one of these now. <laughs> I really want one. I suppose if you were to put it down into comfort and turn the valves off, then it would probably be fairly. <laughs> or like performance cars anyway. Um, so yeah, um, go and check it out really. Oh no, that cloud over there looks really bad. <laughs> Head towards the sun. Please make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures to come.